You smell that, Jailbird? The stink of jealousy, of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remain, anyway. I couldn't have said it better myself. Was it a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skald song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Chilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. This area is...
Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Rachnasans are the least of your worries, Burgred. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. Oh, I've heard tales of the Raven Clan. I see their leader Sigurd among you. Hey! <laughs> and you are Eivor. The one who helped the Danes in Grantabridgeshire destroyed poor Wigmund. Then you see why you should choose your next words very carefully. For here stand four of us who wield such power. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues! No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a batsman battle? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Looking for a worthy challenger. Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. 
Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Leave the king to me!
It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chair Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. 